Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create a VDisk in Citrix PBS environment. So, in my last video, as I have shown you, I have configured this machine as a main target device. So, we have installed the software, as you can see, imaging wizard and other stuff is there. So, now in this video, we will learn how to create a VDisk. So, for the same, first of all, let me show you um, my hypervisor. Here, I have created uh, this machine in VMware Workstation. Sorry, uh, not Workstation, uh, VMware ESXi host. And I have taken the remote console of this machine, SRDP, as you can see here. So, to create a VDisk, first of all, you have to click on Start. Then you have to open the Imaging Wizard. If you uh, if you will not get that option over there, you can expand the Citrix folder and you will get that option here, okay? So let me open it. Click on Yes. So we are good to configure. Click on Next. Now it is asking for PBS server IP address. So as I told you earlier, my IP address is 192.168.10.100, which is my domain controller itself because I have configured the PBS console in my domain controller only. Okay, click on next. Now it is connecting to the site. It is connected now. So now we are getting three options here. As you can see, create a VDisk, recreate a VDisk, create an image file, or you can copy disk volume to a VDisk volume. So, as I told you in this video, we are creating a VDisk. Basically, VDisks are the virtual disks which we can locate uh, to our network shared uh, devices. And with that VDisk, actually those VDisks are pre-configured with operating systems and the applications. And we can stream particular VDisk to any virtual machine. So that is the basic task for VDisk. Actually, it is used for streaming the applications and desktop. So simply click on next. Now it is asking for a target device name. So let me check the target device name, what it is. Okay, so I have to enter it now. So let's make it as we are 2K19-02 because I'm I'm already having one machine which is running as SVR 2K19. So I'm mentioning 02 hyphen TD because uh, that will be a main target device. Okay. And that, that is my network connection. And I have created one collection in my PBS console with name Windows. So it is getting listed here. Simply click on next. So now it is asking for VDisk name. Mention it. SVR 2K19 hyphen 02, then hyphen VDisk. It should be identical means in that way we will be able to identify. Okay, it's desk. It should be DISK. Okay, and that is my store as you can see here. So far I'm having 129 GB available in my store. And let's make VDisk type as VHDX. That is completely fine. Click on next. No, we do not want any licensing. Click on next. And what we have to do, we have to boot the entire disk, okay? We do not want to uh, select any partition because we do not have any such partitions right now, okay? So just suppose as you can see here, uh, so far I'm having only C drive, okay, here. So click on next. So it is, asking to optimize the operating system. Let's optimize it. So by optimizing, uh, you can disable multiple things and it will be better for performance and you know speed will be there, smoothness will be there. So that is fine, why? Because we have to access all those uh, virtual machines over remote or over the internet only, correct? So those are not physical machines, so okay. If you want to uncheck any, you can uncheck, but by default, that is completely fine. And now simply click on next. So we are ready to start. 
click on create so what it will do it will uh, reconfigure uh, the operating system as per the options we have selected and it will create one v disk here into our pbs console let me log in where it is here it is so here we will get one VDIC soon here as I told you currently it is down but it will be up we will make it up okay so that is the host name what we have selected it's not host name it, uh, it is a VDIC name actually that is the MAC address right now type for production and IP address is down because you know that VDISC is creating. So it will again take a while. Anyway, let's wait. Okay, so creation is successful, but now after that it will copy the entire data of this machine to the VDisk. So data means the application or other stuff what we have. Okay, so click on continue. So as you can see now, we have to change some settings in our uh, this virtual machine, correct? Why? Because you know, after that we have to reboot this machine over the network means we have to enable the pxe boot for this machine okay so as you can see here right now it is a local drive for this machine but we do not want to boot that machine from local drive and that is the major purpose for us why because you know as you can see here v disk is inactive now okay so now we have to uh, make some changes in machine uh, bios why? Because we want this machine to be boot from the network. Okay. So before we start, we have to perform those things. So what I can do, I have to go to my hypervisor. And this is the machine. Let me edit the settings here. And uh, here I must get one option to put that machine into the BIOS. So where is that option? Let me locate. <clears throat> or else we can uh, press F2 as well, but uh, I'm just showing you. Where it is, man. I have expanded each and everything, but why I'm not getting that option? Am I searching in correct location? Let me check it again. Power option, we are getting nothing here. Power management into the power management we are getting nothing here now i have to find give me some time no into the advance are we getting something here no is there something no 
Let me check general options again. Lock this operating system. No, 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 no. Expand the power management settings. Let me check into power management. Oh, oh where it gone, man? Let me expand the boot options. Nothing here. Into the advanced. Nothing here. Let me check on virtual hardware. What it is showing here. Hmm, why, what is happening, man? We do not require a, a CD DVD drive, that is fine. Into the network, nothing. Nothing, nothing, uh, so. Haha, uh -huh. here is the option, man. I have wasted time. I think I have to go to the doctor too for my eyes checkup. Okay, so what I want, I want this machine to be into the BIOS after next boot. So I am selecting that option. Okay, save it. And now we are good to reboot the machine. Yes. So let me show you here because RDP will not work. As you can see, this machine is booting up and it will automatically go to the BIOS. As you can see, correct. So now <coughs> let open launch VMRC console again. So basically what we have to do, we have to change some boot options here. So let me enter into the setup, <coughs> configure uh, boot options then change boot order enter now what i have to do i have to change network uh, boot option like efi network on the top then okay so as you can see boot options are changing now our network boot is at top perfect let uh, commit changes and exit and we can also verify from here again change boot order yeah, you can see network is on to the top okay so commit changes then we are good to reboot this machine so let's see now what will happen so as you can see machine is booting now and it is into the network boot now it will get some ip and now it's booting up from network only, correct? As you can see, it is booting with Citrix uh, provisioning services, the server IP and other stuff shown here. And now it is booting from the VDisk, correct? So let me log in here. And what we are doing, we are creating a VDisk. So you will see, we will prompt to format the VDisk. As you can see, Imaging Wizards is running now. So if you want, you can click on format, but not required, just cancel this. And what it is doing, it is copying all the data to VDisk, what we have created, okay? It will copy all the data from the local drive to VDisk or from the any drive on which we have configured the OS and other stuff, correct. So it will take some time in between. <coughs> if you click here and you can see virtual disk is active now. And this is our virtual disk. And this is, this is our uh, PBS server. And that is a port number 6916, okay. So if uh, I go here, and as I shown you, that was offline earlier. Now this is up. And earlier it was down, but now this is up and uh, it is our VDisk is getting IP address. 
from our DC pool and IP address is 10.55 for this virtual disk. So now if I, let me show you the path of all the virtual disks what I have created earlier. Okay, so for what we have created this one, correct? svr 2 k 102 hyphen V disk. So this is a V disk for this machine. Where is the console here? So it will copy the C drive of this uh, local machine and it will copy all the content to the V disk that we have created, correct? So copying the data, it may take some time. It will take some time actually up to 15 to 20 minutes. So let me check the performance here. <laughs> no hard drive because you know we are booted over the network, correct? <coughs> Means uh, our, video, our, our video is connected from the network. So I can see here my SFD uh, read write speed is good. 26 Mbps and 19. It will take some time to copy entire, you know, uh, 25 GB of uh, drive. So no worries. Let's wait. And I will be back after this progress or I'm, I'm silent till then, okay?
Okay, guys. So as you can see here now, it is almost completed. It is completed actually, and status is successful. So now, click on done, and our VDS has been created now. As you can see, status is active. This is the IP address for PBS server, and this is our virtual disk or VDS, which is located at our store here. So again, let me show you again what we did actually. Let's reboot the machine. <clears throat> and you will get it will boot it from VDS only over the network. So let's wait. No display. I think uh, let me show you here then. I have shut it down or restarted. Awesome. Let me close this window again. Oh, I have shut it down. <clears throat> no, no, I have rebooted only. Let's wait for the display to come. Okay, as you can see, it is attempting for network boot. IP address and the VDisk name, as you can see here, SVR 2K1902 hyphen VDisk. Now it is booting from VDS. Let me maximize this as well. Yeah, you, you are getting the IP address of client IP and PBS server IP and VDS name. And let me launch the VMRC tool again and our windows is <coughs> loaded now. So let me log in again with my domain user. Mm -hmm. Guys, this video was quite lengthy because it will take time to, you know, create a VDS to copy the data. So now our machine is booting from VDX. You will get one icon over there in to the tray menu here it is and we are good to go so now in upcoming videos i will show you how to update the vdisk and what are the versioning of vdisk so this is done for this video i hope you are getting some good knowledge from my videos if yes Please do subscribe my channel, share my videos, like my videos. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.